What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today, everybody has seen this trailer reaction making the rounds, um, and so I don't really have to give you much prep on this. Uh, this is, uh, I don't even know the YouTuber's name, he's got a YouTube channel. Last I looked, he had like, I don't know, like 16,000 subs. He's getting downvoted to hell right now. <laughs> um... This is posted by, you know, Ashley, and I, I like Ashley. Uh, I, she's, uh, I really enjoy her tweets. She's, uh, she's great. But I'm going to probably say something that you guys aren't expecting right now. I, I'm going to take up for this guy. Uh, look, man, don't get me wrong. Uh, it, it's not like, I, it's, it is kind of cringe, you know, to watch his reaction. And let's watch a little bit of it first. Sorry about that. I'm going to turn this puppy up. There we go. And... Let's do this. We've passed on all we know. Ooh. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your fight. time how do they make this more and more epic every time okay doing sorry about that i'm gonna turn this puppy up okay so i mean the guy has been absolutely positively blistered on the internet i mean this has been the biggest pile on i've seen in a long time and i mean i don't really understand it i mean Look, I'm not saying, again, you saw me reacting to his reaction, which is a, a, another level of, of YouTube inception, but the, the point I'm making is, like, I was at I was at Star Wars Celebration, and, uh, I, I mean, I'm nothing remotely close to his reaction, but, I mean, when I saw there's, like, the Ahsoka Anakin moment in the Clone Wars that they showed, and I was getting a little teary-eyed, man, because that's, like, my favorite moment in Star Wars, um, it's, I just don't, if you've never watched a Star Wars teaser or a trailer or moment and you haven't gotten like a little, just a tad bit worked up at least, at least get chills or something, you're not really a Star Wars fan, I don't think. Um, I mean, I, I remember watching the, you know, the prequel trailers and the episode seven trailer and hell, even the last Jedi trailer. And I was freaking out, man. Um... Did he play this up? I, I don't know. Uh, but I just feel like this was too much pile on. My God, man. I mean, I feel like the people, the people that are piling, a lot of the people that are piling on are the same people that freaked out over whatever, you know, Dark Knight trailers or Dark Knight Rises or Batman v Superman or whatever. You know, I feel like most fans do have an emotional reaction to trailers. We just do. Uh, this guy clearly takes it to another level 
a, a, a really cringeworthy level, but I'm still going to have his back because at the end of the day, this is what fans do. Now, I didn't like the Episode 9 trailer at all. Well, I mean, I did it first. I thought there was some good in it, but the more I thought about it, uh, I don't really like it that much. But regardless of that, we all do these reactions. We all react differently, but I believe that if you're a real true fan of this stuff and you follow it and you're anticipating it, you're looking forward to that moment when the trailer comes out and you've speculated and you've anticipated and you've thought about it, when you see it, you have an emotional reaction. So I'm going to stand up for this guy to an extent and just say like, come on guys, you know, like, yeah, he's clearly on next level with this, but it's not that, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. So I got his back on this one. I don't know who he is, never watched his channel and he is getting killed on the downvotes. So that's my thoughts on it. So many people have asked me to talk about this. That's probably not the answer you wanted to hear, but that's just my thoughts on it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have a great day and we will talk to you later.